What's going on ladies and gents? How are you doing? Welcome back to another football recap video. We're going to be doing a recap of the Barcelona and Napoli game. And all I got to say is this. People said that Barca might lose this game and look what happened. Barca once again stepped up when everybody was counting them out. And Messi once again delivers a master world class performance. Same with Frankie de Jong. But without a doubt, man, the match tonight would have to be either Messi or De Jong just because they both were brilliant today, including Langlet and Semedo. Because today, Barcelona, in this game, I didn't watch this game, but based off of what I read, I can tell you that Barcelona, they looked like regular Barcelona team today. I mean, they had the teamwork today, the chemistry, and as long as they possess that in the Champions League games, then they can go very, very far. Because I think that it's going to be either Bayern or Barcelona that are going to win the Champions League this year. Now, hey, that's just my personal opinion because... The next game is going to be between my Bayern Munich team and Barcelona. And, of course, only one is going to advance. But tonight, Barcelona, they just show that they should not be counted out because simply just Messi's world-class performance today. I mean, that's a goal by Messi right there, which is incredible, where he dribbled past, I think, three, uh, yeah, three Napoli defenders. Just goes to show that Messi is just absolutely unstoppable. I mean, seriously, he just is. And there's no way that you can stop Messi except just to tackle him or just double man mark him because Bayern's next task in the Barcelona game is going to be finding a way how to man mark Messi because I mean the way how you can win against Bar a team like Barcelona is by simply hitting them on the counter and taking away their attacking options because if Bayern can you know just effectively man mark Messi then I think they have a great shot of winning the next game but because the next game against Barcelona is going to be very very tough because Barcelona hey Despite all the criticisms that I said about them, you know, in terms of their performance in La Liga tonight, they proved everybody wrong. They proved everybody wrong that they still have what it takes to win the Champions League, regardless of what people have to say about them. And it's going to be an exciting matchup next week between Ter Stegen and Neuer. And the crazy part about the rest of the knockouts is that it's only going to be one leg. It's not going to be two legs. So, uh, yeah, I think that's going to make the competition a lot more easier since, you know, the final is going to be here in a couple of weeks. And that's what I'm looking forward to the most, like how I do every year and then it, we have the euro nations league in one month so a hey, football slowly but surely is coming back but uh tonight barcelona their defense was surprisingly pretty pretty well because normally barcelona's biggest area of weakness in la liga was its defense and that's how i feel like they lost control of la liga but right now if they can correct their mistakes then they can go far in the champions league this year even though you know i'm hoping my Bayern team wins the champions league but uh, I'm super excited for the next week's matchup between Bayern and Barca just because two of the best teams, in my opinion, are going to be coming head-to-head. -head. And um, it's going to be a tough task for Bayern because tonight against Chelsea, this game, we made the game look pretty, pretty easy. But, you know, hey, it's not over yet. We still have a lot of a lot of a game time left. And, wow, what a, what a crazy matchup. It's just going to be first time against Barca since 2015. Because last time Bayern faced Barcelona, we all know what happened. Bayern just absolutely got humiliated in the first leg. And then the second leg, yeah, we won that game, but that wasn't enough. So, yeah, I'm hoping that we can redeem ourselves for our abysmal performance in 2015 from five years ago. But uh, we'll see what happens. Because Barcelona, they're a very, very tricky team to beat. Because the way how they play tonight, they just show you that they can cause your defense all sort of problems. And Messi is just unstoppable, man. Messi just continues to go off, and it's just incredible. I mean, Barcelona, they're incredibly just, uh, they're incredibly gifted to have Messi as their leader. Because once Messi leaves Barca, I think it's going to mark an end of an era at Barcelona, if I'm being honest here. But uh, nothing much else to say about the Barca game tonight, except that Messi, another masterclass, Frankie de Jong, his brilliance is without a doubt helped uh, Barca win this game as well. But, uh, yeah, guys, so next week is going to be Barcelona versus Bayern in Lisbon. That's going to be a hell of a game. And I'm doing a recap of the game and a preview at the same time because, you know, I just want the game to come here because, I mean, we can make all the preview videos we want. But, hey, I'd rather see what the game is going to offer rather than just, you know, talk and, you know, give all these analyzations and prediction, all that stuff. So, yeah, like how I said before, if Bayern can uh, man Mark Messi next week and if they can just effectively counter Barca based off of the players we have, you know, uh, Alfonso Davis, um, Serge Gnabry, because they're two of our fastest fastest players on the squad. And if we can, if they can just be very, very effective on the counter, then I think they're going to cause Barcelona's defense all sort of problems. And I think that's what can give Bayern the advantage over Barcelona next week. But anyways, ladies and gents, so that's going to be it here with this video. Let me know what you thought about Barca's performance in the comment section below. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, drop a comment, follow me on Twitch, and y'all have a good one.